I, I went into this phase then where I wanted to be a teacher, which is obviously what I'm becoming now. So it's kind of cool to look back. Like when I was six or seven, I would literally be like in my room and I would take the homework that I got that day and I would pretty much like pretend teach it as if I was teaching a class. And I think it's so funny when I tell that story to everyone else because here we are like years later and now we're, we're almost there. I feel like I help people all the time. Um, by using my voice, that's something that I think is like the most powerful tool that I have. A couple of months ago, my grandmother passed away and we were gonna do a simulation in lab and it was really, it was gonna be really hard on me. And I opened up and kind of told one of my professors about it that, hey, this is gonna be hard. This, I'm struggling right now. And I never expected it, but she sat in that chair and she cried with me. It is a challenging, but very rewarding profession. Like, especially right now with the staffing shortages, but seeing like patients and clients smile is so rewarding and it makes you feel like you make a difference. And I think that's what I appreciate the most is the thought that I'm making a difference in people's lives. I want to be able to teach art to students of all abilities. And um, I also want to make a difference in this world by giving uh, students an outlet on a way that they can express themselves. The thing I will probably miss the most is my friends. I know that those relationships will never go away. We're just going to learn to be farther away from each other. It was a close-knit four years with a lot of great people, and Winona State brought me that. So for that, I'm thankful for this campus. And um, yeah, <laughs> it kind of like set in right there. I was like, no, don't cry, but like, holy buckets.